Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. I am currently doing my video for the mini album by Dreamcatcher Villain S or VS Villains versus whatever uh, you want to call it as far as like the different names that I've seen. It's called on the dreamcatcher.fandom.com uh, website as I'm using that website to help me kind of like navigate my way through. Uh, and uh, this is song number two. The OOTD, the title track, is omitted from the album reaction, so I could make a separate video, plus due to copyright claims and all that kind of stuff, I will feel much more at peace uh, releasing the music video reaction as a separate thing. The album reaction will be probably released at the same time as this music video reaction for OOTD, which means Outfit of the Day. Um, now, the description of the song is as, as follows. Um, your outfit of the day also serves as an expression of who you are today. If you're a confident person, you're unlikely to wear your outfit of the day for anyone else's taste. In this song, confidence borders or on narcissism, and it's driven by a stubborn but firm conviction. The song is in the pop punk genre, and it relies heavily on the instrumental and vocal effects used in punk rock to convey this unconventional and subversive confidence now that we got the meaning of outfit of the day um down let's jump straight into the music video oh There's like this distortion on her voice, Shion. Holy shit. Oh my god, that. That. It, it felt like my ears were like slightly as if I was listening to her verse almost like underwater and somebody just pulled my head out of the, I don't know, toilet or something like Sin City, for example, with Del Toro and uh, Clive Owens when he puts his head in the toy why am i thinking of such dark shit right off the bat jesus christ but it feels like your ears just open up uh which is amazing when we get to Sua and she holy shit looking like a commercial for og need for speed video game makes me want to buy a ps2 again Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, Hanong. Holy shit. Wait, uh, I need a second to catch my breath. This was like a heart attack on top of another heart attack between Yuyan and Hondog looking like a fucking princess. Yuyan with the blue hair. Giyu literally is like a doll in like the in like in like this glass box looking majestic. Yuyan looks incredible, but Gaian, like I don't know where to focus. I I, I need a second. Let's let's take it all the way back to my girl Shion too. Um, let's just chill. I love this concept. What a powerful voice. I, I, 
I'm, oh my god, Gaia, chill the fuck out. You, also, Gio saying I am Venus reminds me of like the classic song. I, I Was it in the 80s or something? Like, I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. So, something like that. It, it was a, There was a very popular commercial too for like the song, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take it back. Uh, Blue-haired Yuyan is... Uh, Goddamn. Damn. my fashion. Shut up, no more Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> that was cool. Okay. And totally believable because uh Handong will take you on. Headstrong, Handong. That's the song. Not what you think it was. The lyrics are completely different from Headstrong. Oh. Oh, Tommy is. Damn. Damn. Oh, TT is my fashion. Shut up, no more questions. Okay. Oh, TT is my fashion. Whoa. Oh, she on smile. Holy shit. Oh my god, these outfits are crazy. Holy shit. Oh, and the flower is so cool. Wait, let's take it back. L l l l the black dress kind of like reminded me of uh, CLC. Like wear my black dress when I feel like conf to express confidence and all that kind of stuff. Also, there's like what looks like a sketch of a lotus flower on the truck. It rises from mud without any stains. Uh, they're often viewed as a symbol of purity since they return to the murky water each evening and open their blooms at the break of day. Lotus flowers are also symbols of strength, resilience, and rebirth. I really love fucking sassy take no shit from anyone Dreamcatcher. And I, I love, like, they literally, they're not afraid of being seen as narcissists, as we talked about in, in the beginning of the meaning of the song. The fandom website said that if you're a confident person, you're unlikely to wear your outfit of the day for anyone else's taste. In the song, confidence borders on narcissism. Like, they're literally focusing, like, uh, literally, Yuyan is in the middle of nowhere in, like, some uh, dark stairwell or something, like, like in a dark place, like, only with her phone. We we have uh, Gaian and Sua in the elevator only focusing on their phones and themselves. It's like, uh, like, they're not afraid of, like, being seen as narcissist in a way because this is how I want to express myself and not for you. I'm dressing the way that I am for no one but myself. This is so fucking different from anything that we've checked out from Dreamcatcher, but at the same time, this fits them so incredibly well. Uh, Han Nong in pink with the crown being like a total princess and whatnot is also so fucking cool. Uh, and the crown is so fucking awesome as well as all of them are fucking queens and whatnot. But it, it, it's like 
villains, like, they're not afraid of being seen as villains because that's, you know, someone who only focuses on themselves and doesn't give a fuck about how anyone else sees them. I guess that could be considered a bit of a villain in a way, like someone that comes off as a bit of a, I guess, narcissist and dreamcatcher kind of like not afraid of showing those colors this is fucking awesome and i love the editing the inclusion of like photoshop and, and, and after effects and all of these various uh processing softwares like uh, there's the 3d animations almost like to express like uh, what's what's the software like blender or some other um 3d uh apps with the crown and whatnot and like the masking and everything as I, I maybe it kind of like re refers to um literally the masking out the girls and only leaving them as like they're only focusing on themselves and like using show social media to just put the spotlight all on yourself is kind of uh how I guess I will see it but uh, let's take it back okay I'll shut the fuck up It's amazing that Xion has a car behind her, but she looks like a biker girl. Oh, oh my god. Please chill, Guyon, with those eyes. Yes, you are. Go get that fucking Kelvin Klein commercial for fuck's sakes. Tommy, Jesus Christ. From the Damien performance video, she is hammering that point. She really wants that. Although, Yuyan with the blue hair, like, watch out. She might steal it. <laughs> Damn. I would love to join you. Of course. Yes, you are. I love the lyric of I'm spotless, much like a lotus flower, which is like the, I think that's the sketch of uh, what's on the truck is a sketch of a lotus flower, which is spotless, even though it grows in murky water and in mud and whatnot, it still blooms as pure. I would love to join you girls. Holy fucking shit. This song was one of the most addicting songs by Dreamcatcher. I love the mature sound of this song this is a concept that i don't necessarily saw coming but a concept that now that i hear it i there's nothing that i would have loved more for them than to express being unapologetically yourself it seems like this is a concept that like a lot of groups kind of like do but dreamcatcher almost like deserves in a way to do it because their concepts have been so different and so unique and the introduction of the the rock sound and like the heavier sound introduced into k-pop i feel like the way they pulled it off they made it sound so incredibly different the vocals at times the high notes are always incredible. The vocals at times was, were almost like sensual, almost like as if I'm, I'm talking to myself as I'm like basically kind of a narcissist, like I'm in love with myself. Um, because if I won't love myself, who else will? And before you find someone to love you, love yourself first, complete yourself first. So this is like Dreamcatcher taking that all the way to a hundred. Visualize, expre express myself more as I'm choosing like the outfit of the day and all that kind of stuff. I thought that this was an amazing... Jiu has a... Is that a real tattoo on her stomach? Holy shit, I didn't notice that before. Uh, 
the crown as like Dreamcatcher are a a bunch of queens all by themselves and like the constant focus like every day is a photo shoot as I am with my phone kind of like what Yuyan was doing and Guyan was doing but in reality like the photo shoot with all of the people behind is like an expression of me choosing to focus on me all day and every day because I deserve it for fuck's sakes you know oh apparently Tommy actually swears in this song too kind of like there's a, a censoring a fuck out of my way I feel like her verse emphasizes the reasoning behind why i just was tired of hiding myself for the sake of being accepted by someone much like kind of like in that office environment in the intro and the outro of the song almost like within an office you are bound by certain rules you have to dress a certain way you have to please someone else and tommy is like expressing in a way that i'm tired of hiding um i I just need to accept myself for who I am, put my own fucking red carpet everywhere I go and not hiding myself anymore. Also, there's like a Dreamcatcher note, uh, which is like a series that they have as well, like vlogs and stuff like that, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is also really fucking cool. As Yu Yan says, rise. And like, I, I, I'm in love with the song. I'm absolutely in love with these visuals. Gio literally like calling her like it is so outside of what Dreamcatcher are like in real life in terms of like they're so insanely cute and humble and they would never like th this song is a perfect vehicle and a perfect way to explain how artists express themselves in ways that they cannot in any other way because otherwise they would be legitimately be seen as narcissists as villains as people who are just in love with themselves music is the only way that they can really drive their emotions through and really show off that love for themselves because otherwise they would drive themselves crazy trying to hide it. I, I love the lyrics of I'm Spotless because again, it kind of like symbolizes the whole Venus flower and its symbolism in life as well. If there's anything else that I missed in this music video, feel free to let me know. The choreography from what I could see with the, with the crown and everything was absolutely incredible, powerful as always. Everything that has to do with Dreamcatcher's choreography it's always incredible and the presence is is insane with the caps and all it just it adds to the mystery and um and like the the intrigue and everything else and like the use of uh, post-production effects and all that kind of stuff is just another layer of something extra to add to the complexity of the music video i'm gonna end this reaction here and move on to record the rest of my album reaction so I'm very, very excited. Both videos are probably going to be released at the same time. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in some extra reactions, including there's a few uh, Weekly Idol episodes of Dreamcatcher that I reacted to, as well as Dreamcatcher Mind. For the moment, that is all the Dreamcatcher content that I have, but there's plenty of other stuff like K-dramas, variety shows, different shows for groups like Twice, and BTS, Mama Moo, Stray Kids, and Blackpink. Lots of content. There's a full list of all of the available reaction in all of the available reactions, sorry, in the $5 tier. Please do not sign up to the tier before you actually check out the list so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. And if you see something that you like, consider subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next one. Be well and safe wherever you are.